Hello everyone, good morning. Happy weekend, today's Saturday, and I'm going to meet up with my pals, Michelle and Arlene, for brunch. I haven't seen them in a while. I actually saw Michelle, that must have been actually beginning of July, so it has been a minute, um, because they went back to Montana for a few weeks, and now we're hanging out, we're getting brunch. I saw this place on TikTok, actually someone sent it to me that watches my videos, so shout out it was called modern bread and bagel and it's an all gluten-free like brunch place and bakery and i think it's mostly takeaway but you can like sit down for brunch i don't know so i texted them because it's on the upper west side where they live and i was like yo i really want to go to this place are you guys down to go with me um and then we realized we made plans to go this morning it's saturday and apparently they're closed on saturdays so we're going instead to a place next door that is also gluten-free that looks really good that michelle suggested it's called time and tonic so they do brunch and i'm very much looking forward to it i haven't been to brunch in a long time and i love a good gluten-free restaurant i did have some gluten last night and my skin is acting up because of it so i'm like yo i need to be a little more mindful of this um, and it's always really nice when you're going out to eat, especially if you can find gluten-free options. And they also have a lot of vegan options too, vegan substitutes um, on their menu. So should be fun. There's supposed to be a tropical storm coming in New York this weekend. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I also, me and my friend Elise are gonna try and not sneak in, um, but there's a whole homecoming concert happening in Central Park today to like, celebrate the city reopening and stuff like the mayor's office has been planning it for a while and andrea bocelli is performing and me and elise love him they also have some other cool people too and it's free but apparently you had to claim tickets a couple weeks ago and they sold out immediately and people are reselling their free tickets for like hundreds of dollars so what we're gonna do is central park is like a big place and you know it, the concert itself is on the great lawn but like I don't think they're gonna rope off much besides the great lawn so we're gonna try and just like walk through central park and at least like hear some of the music <laughs> this sounds pathetic or maybe we'll find someone who's like leaving that wants to give us their ticket i don't know i don't know how that works but we're, we just want to be present in case of opportunity to see andrew bocelli live so okay my hair is like immediately falling and it's not looking good and i'm also having a bad face day so we're just really struggling over here but that's what we're up to and i will see you guys when i head uptown okay here's the look that's not much of a look this is um just an old misguided dress i wore this i feel like i wore it well maybe it was a couple months ago but it feels recent to me and i'm wearing birkenstocks once again because last weekend i got this gnarly bruise what no blister on the back of my heel so it's it's slowly healing but i still want to give my heels time to avoid wearing shoes that rub the back of them for the time being so birkenstocks it is love them or hate them i'm wearing them and my crossbody bag so very pumped about this brunch i have no idea what i'm gonna get but i'm sure it's gonna be delicious because i was looking at the menu and all the pictures were just okay i'm walking from the train now it's actually like not that bad out today. It's not very hot, but it's cloudy and I'm hungry. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, no, it's so hard. I'm not good at it. Look at this. 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 There's so much to see here. Wow, the energy. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're at, what is this called? Um, time and Tonic. Time and Tonic. I could not remember that for the life of me. I was like, tuna and tartar. Like, <laughs> anyway, we came to this restaurant. It's all gluten-free. I got the um, tartine on a bagel with salmon and avocado, and it looks delicious. Aline, what did you get? Oh, now I put some meat on it. I'm, it's a scramble. Yeah. It's a cheddar scramble with dill and avocado and some toast, looks like. And that toast looks so good for gluten-free. Like, it looks like actually, yeah, like thick. And shashuka. Shashuka. Amazing. And Beautiful. Pancakes for the table. Look at these. Coconut pancakes. Damn. And this place is adorable. So, if you're looking for gluten-free, Upper West Side. Cheers to that. Okay, I had so much fun getting brunch and catching up with Michelle and Aline, and then we popped into the Strand afterwards. I didn't realize they had an Upper West Side location. 
But I got some merch from the strand. I didn't even get any books. Um, so maybe I'll show you guys later. I'm trying to decide if I want to go in the park. Oh, they're already setting up for the um, concert VIP entrance. I think I might just go home, honestly, because I need to finish a video. And I, I'm gonna head home, do some work, and then um, meet up with my friend later in the day. Such a fun morning though. I'm in my new Strand bookstore merchandise. I did get a sweatshirt. I honestly didn't even buy any books. So um, where are my priorities? But um, I just got this because I just thought it was so cute. I don't have any red crew necks and I love a good soft crew neck. And it was inexpensive for, in my opinion, for a crew neck. This was $24, which for like a merch branded sort of shirt, um, it's like usually 40, so I was like, okay. And it's comfy and cute. And then I also got a magnet, because it was only five bucks. Oh, and look how cute it is. Strand Books, New York City. They had some really adorable New York City magnets, like different famous buildings, cartoons, and just like city views. And I don't know, they have some really cool stuff there. Um, the tote bags were amazing. And they just have a ton of stuff. Games, they had like New York City Strand themed playing cards. Um, I was impressed, especially because that was not even the main store, the main ones um, like by Union Square. But, yeah, I'm really glad that I stopped in there with Michelle and Aline and I didn't even know it was there. Now I'm home. I'm actually not even here for that long. Um, I came back and now I have an hour, less than that now, because I just dilly-dallied on TikTok for 20 minutes. But I want to edit as much of my video as I can right now and try and finish it. I don't know if I will by the time I need to head out again. But my friend and I are, I'm going actually back to exactly where I was, the same train stop um, at the Museum of Natural History because tonight is the NYC homecoming concert. I think I already mentioned we don't have tickets, but we're gonna try and either finesse or hear it from far away. I'm going to meet her around five. Um, that's when it starts, but it goes for like several hours. So we'll see what happens and maybe we'll just end up failing and just going to get a drink, but I don't know. Anyway, so I need to change. I wanted to come back here anyway and change, do some editing and um, then head back out. So kind of, Spending a lot of time on the train today, but it's fine. So, very pleased with my new purchases from Strand. If you haven't seen, I think it's Dash and Lily. It's a show on Netflix and they, um, the Strand is like the main setting where it all begins in that show, if you've seen that. So, it's just like a famous NYC bookstore. I think it was in the 20s they opened. And they had some really cool old photos of like the family, different generations of owners of the store and what it looked like in the past and it's a cool spot. I will chat with you once I decide what to wear. The tropical storm is coming tonight, but hopefully the rain isn't supposed to start until like late night, I think. So we should be okay. Um, <laughs> jury's still out, but I'm not dressing for rain is the plan right now, so we'll see. Okay, I changed into shorts and a tank top and boots. These actually don't irritate the back of my heel, which is good like my tennis shoes do. So um, these, I was going for like a Doc Martin vibe, but honestly I think these flatter my legs more than Doc Martens do. So these are the um, Kinsey boot from Timberland that I would wear all the time in the winter. And these Abercrombie Curve Love shorts, belt is Princess Polly. Top I think is Zara, it's like a crop distressed tank and um, like a Zara jacket over the top so I can just like throw it over shoulder if it's a little hot tied around my waist um, but it's not like super super hot today so I figured I could do a light jacket situation especially because we're going into nighttime and there might be a hurricane <laughs> so I'm gonna grab an umbrella I'm actually going to meet my friend um, at Columbus Circle because she's wanted to do a couple shops there and we figured that like the there's a lot of artists performing at this thing so, Andre Bocelli and a lot of the headliners probably won't be till later anyway, so we don't have to rush. Adventures are always welcome, so here goes nothing. Later. Beginning of the hurricane. 12 o'clock midnight. This is the literal flash flood warning right now. And I'm walking home. <laughs> What a joke. Good morning, 
everyone and by morning i mean it is fully afternoon but it is sunday i'm wearing my new sweatshirt and i am cozy inside watching the rain fall because um it is raining all day i'm pretty sure it's like 100 percent chance of rain all day long into tomorrow and I got my fair share of being in the rain yesterday, so I do not think I'm leaving my apartment at all today. And by think, I mean I'm not. <laughs> it's honestly not even that bad, because we're not like in the direct path of the storm. It's not very stormy here, it's just rainy. So I think we're just kind of on the outskirts as the storm moves through. Um, and I think it hit Rhode Island this morning, so it's like a little bit north of here and not quite um right over the city basically i'll tell you the story of what happened yesterday which i don't really think i got much footage because it was so chaotic um me and my friend elise had the most chaotic evening of our entire lives um but it was so much fun at the same time so basically i went and met up with her and we went to columbus circle mall she wanted to shop a little bit and she was already there so i just went and met her while she was in a store and we were like okay like it's five o'clock, the concert's starting, but we both really wanted to see Andrew Bocelli, and he, we figured, we're like, okay, he's probably not even gonna be on until much later, cause he's like more of a headliner type name. But I really don't think the concert had that kind of style of like headliners being later like Coachella, you know? It was, it was different than that, which we just didn't know the lineup and we just assumed. And so, we stay and we're shopping a little bit, and then later on, like six, 6 30 we're like okay let's head up um and try and walk around the concert area and see if we can hear and there's like no weather problems at this point like it was just like cloudy whatever no sign of any potential rain that soon and we didn't expect it until much later anyway so we finally like the train was delayed it took a while we finally get up there it's like 6 45 and we make our way we're like walking past all the entrances like trying to find a way we can get into the park that's close enough and all this and it was just like winding and looking and trying to follow the music and all this and finally we do find a perimeter we see a lot of people sitting like outside on the grass that don't have tickets to the concert obviously um that are just listening from afar like you could kind of hear at the stage um it wasn't super clear but you could hear the music and so we're like, okay, let's like walk along this, see if maybe we can get in. We were at this like VIP entrance that we like, I don't know what we were hoping. <laughs> we were gonna try and do something. And we we caught the end of Earth, Wind and Fire and they, we heard September and it was just like so fun. We were walking down the street jamming and then we get up there and then we're like listening to these people talk to security people and trying to figure it out, trying to hear what was going on. And I looked on Twitter and I realized that we had missed Andrew Bocelli completely and he had already been on stage and it was a flop. So anyway, so after that, we sat down on the grass, we were just hanging out. We weren't even there for that long and it started like drizzling, like sprinkling rain. So we went to go sit under this tree and then these guys who also were trying to finesse into the concert they sat down and started talking to us and we were just like talking about what was going on and suddenly like there's a lot of people leaving and we're like okay maybe now that it's like drizzling people don't want to be out as much whatever and then suddenly it's like very much a lot of people leaving and we realize that we don't hear any music and we asked them we're like oh is it over already and they're like no it got canceled so that's such a bummer for people who actually like paid money to go and everything like bought tickets off of people and all that um so it's a good thing we didn't do that because we missed like i think it was halfway through when they had to cancel it because not just the rain but i think like lightning and everything anyway from there it just went even more chaotic we like leave with the stampede of people it starts pouring rain elise has this big bag of clothes like a paper bag that she bought at the mall and <laughs> we're like okay so um we need to take the train. So we walk one way, we realize the train's another way. It starts pouring rain. We're like juggling the umbrellas, these bags. We get to the train, it's packed with people leaving this concert, like pushing into the train. And then we get out and it is literally a monsoon. Like it's so hard to describe without you being there, but it was honestly comical. Us walking through this rain um, to her apartment, which is like 
12 minutes from the train which doesn't sound that long but when you're in a monsoon it really it really is it got so wet we stopped and got poke bowls and then the bags were like falling apart in the rain and we were just a mess there's water pooling in my boots like trudging through these puddles just like laughing and singing in the rain walking through and it was a lot of fun but it was chaos. Um, and then we were planning to go out, but then we're like, there's no way in hell we're going on this. Then I came back here and it was pretty late. Um, and then that's when there was an actual flash flood warning when I got off the train to walk to my apartment, which is only like five minutes from the train, but it was, I got a clip of that, I think. It was just insane. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so now I am dry and outside was just a lot. So I'm staying inside today. And this morning, um, I've been reading for our podcast book club and taking notes on things I want to discuss, so doing some of that, and caught up on Love Island. I've just been cozy inside drinking coffee. I need to finish editing a video. I didn't finish that yesterday, but I think instead of sitting here, I'm going to go up and sit in the roof area where I used to work before I had Wi-Fi in here and just kind of like look out the window at the rain. It's kind of fun to watch from there. Hopefully it'd be empty because it's the weekend and no one else is like working. But anyway, we'll see if there's like sitting area and I just want a change of scenery. Like I want to be inside all day, but also I don't want to sit in my apartment the whole time. So that's what's nice about having a building where I can go in other rooms and hopefully finish my video and then work out. I want to get a workout in, wash my hair, and then Sierra and I are going to have a podcast meeting later and um, get things ready for the upcoming week. So that's my Sunday. I don't expect it to be that exciting to vlog because I'm staying inside all day cozy, but I think that's what everyone's doing. Everyone's Instagram stories I've seen are just like them watching Netflix at home because no one wants to go out in this. I saw some people that were like out at bars last night and I just don't understand how they did that because it was so insane. Yeah. Let's go up to the roof. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I put on some workout clothes. I finished my video and uploaded it. So that's good, out of the way. And I was up on the roof for a bit, the thumbnail and all that jazz. And now came back. Um, had a snack. I am gonna do a leg workout, I think, because I feel like it's been a while. I've been not wanting to work out with my freaking blister, but it's a little better now. And I think I can handle it, so. It is Monday now. I just got ready. I had my morning routine. I did some reading. Um, I really need to power through the book club book for the podcast this week. I wanted to wait until right before we recorded to read most of it just so it was fresh in my mind. But we're recording that on Friday and I want to make sure I have the right time to finish it. So I've been reading that this morning and I want to do that also later today. Um, I'm also reading it in an ebook that's like hard to tell how far I am. Um, so I think I'm like more than halfway through. Oh, wrong one. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go to my co-working space today because I haven't been in a couple weeks and I want to actually take advantage of it. So I'm going to go do that and, um, it's raining again today because of the hurricane remnants. It's, um, actually stopped right now. It was drizzling earlier, but I think it's going to go back and forth pretty much all day. So, I just want to be inside, but also I don't want to be in this side, <laughs> inside my apartment. I want to go out and go somewhere different. So, I'm going to go do that, and I need to edit the podcast. We actually did record last night. Finally, we've had some, like, external things getting in the way, but we have our season two premiere recorded, so I'm going to edit that today because it's actually going live tomorrow, and I have some other things to do for that. So today's focus is mostly going to be podcast work. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to continue this vlog today and then split it up for the rest of the days, Tuesday through Friday, for my week vlog. 
as usual. I actually didn't film anything yesterday because I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, but I saw so many people on Instagram stories like just hanging out at home and watching TV all day because of the hurricane. So I don't feel bad about it. It was much needed rest for sure. We're gonna watch Bachelor in Paradise again here tonight. So I'm gonna go out, get my work done during the day. I also really wanna go to this bookstore and look for prints. Aline was telling me about, I mean, I had had this place bookmarked, it's called a Gorsi, I think. Um, and she was telling me that she had went and it was super cool. So I definitely wanna go, um, but it was closed over the weekend when I was there on Saturday and or in the area. So I wanna try and go maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We'll see how much my time management works out in my favor. I'm honestly digging the cozy vibes with the rain though, like being inside. And it just makes me excited for fall. I'm always excited for fall, but especially now it really feels like the summer is winding down. And you know, hot girl summer can't last forever, unfortunately. I'm definitely looking forward to it. It is the last couple weeks of summer, which is crazy. And my friend like invited us to this end of summer barbecue thing this weekend. I'm like, is it really end of summer already? But I'm also like, all right. I'm ready for fall. Anyway, I'm going to eat some food, get dressed, and I will check in with you guys when I head out to co-working space. Is this dirty or blurry or something? I think it is. Maybe from the rain. Ooh. Is that better? I'm heading out. I'm wearing like a weird combination of things because I wanted to wear boots because the ground is going to be wet. And it's not that hot out today, so I'm wearing leggings, but it's not cold either. It's humid, so I'm wearing a tank top, so I don't really know. I'm a little bit weather confused, frankly, but I think that's justified. The sun came out like five minutes ago, and it's not raining, so I'm going to go in now while I have a little window, and hopefully, it actually doesn't say it's supposed to rain that much the rest of the day, so hopefully it doesn't, but I'm bringing an umbrella just in case in my bag with my laptop and yeah, I'm gonna go to the co-working space first and then I do think I'm gonna go to that bookstore. So I think I'll check it out today if it's not rainy. So looking forward to that, let's go. a print that I loved it was honestly so like overwhelming with the number of prints and just like folders and so many things to look through so I like feel like it was the dilemma of choice where there was just so many that I couldn't decide and also it was a little different it was like very old newspaper pictures and stuff like it was really cool to look at but not necessarily ones I'd want in my apartment so um, it was really fun just to peruse, but yeah, now I'm back and um, a couple of my friends are on the way over to watch Bachelor in Paradise, so Sun's going down Monday evening. The weather has been literally all over the place today as you guys have seen But now it's like a pretty sunset And it's clear I forgot that Joe is on this Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, you guys, I'm signing off this vlog. We watched Bachelor in Paradise. It's actually two nights this week. Oh my god. I'm so tired. I'm gonna head to bed and end this vlog. So thank you so much for watching this weekend and Monday in my life. Today was a great day, productive. Got the podcast ready for tomorrow and ready for the rest of the week. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you next time. Bye.